Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be diving into the game Dragon Champions. Very, very happy to show you guys this game today. I really think you'll enjoy it. You can go ahead and download it right now for free using the link in the description down below. And if you want some free stuff to help jumpstart your progress, go ahead and enter in a promo code SHANEGIFT. They'll give you a nice little boost for free to give you some extra early game currency and items to help you progress faster in the game. So if you are at all curious about anything you see in this video and you want to give it a try, go ahead. There's absolutely zero risk. At the very least, just spend all the free currency you get and see if you enjoy the game. The code will also act as a creator code if you want to help support me as well. So if you are interested, that is how you can do so. Let's go ahead here and dive into a campaign battle and see what Dragon Champions is all about. Now, Dragon Champions is a fantasy-themed, turn-based RPG game that is a ton of fun to play. Let's go ahead and battle here, you guys. Now, you can see in the battle screen, you can select your team. You have a bunch of different heroes available, and you have five hero slots in your team. And I already have my favorite team basically ready to go with the panda as our leader, which grants us the leadership ability to basically give a shield anytime I heal an ally. And then we have a tank as well to go with our healer, and then a bunch of kind of DPS and support units as well. And then we're off, guys. Let's go ahead here and jump into our first battle and see what Dragon Champions is all about. And honestly, guys, one thing I will say is the graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. And it has a, a frame rate selector in the settings, which might not seem like a whole lot. But man, at 60 frames per second, the game is buttery smooth and a ton of fun to play. So we have a ton of enemies right here. We'll see what we can do. Now, our Frost Mage right here actually has a splash damage ability, but it isn't unlocked quite yet. You can see my spells in the bottom right hand corner. Actually, maybe I'll hide my face right now quickly. So you can see the spells right there. There they are. So you can see one and two. That's how many turns we have until the uh, basically ability is ready to go. So we'll start with our frost belt right there, and then we'll attack with our tank, who has a taunt, which can help direct damage to him and protect my allies, which is very, very important. Now we are outnumbered significantly right now, so we need some splash damage um, spells here to destroy our opponent very, very quickly which we will unlock soon. So I want to use the uh, bat. Does a ton of damage and should finish off this enemy right here. There we go. He's done. And now we do need some heals. So we're back to our frost mage. We have the uh, splash damage ability unlocked. There we go. We'll damage three of the units right there. And it also has a chance to slow them down as well as an additional effect. Now our archer is taking some serious damage over here. Getting fairly low on health. He needs some heals ASAP. Let's use our uh, multi shot here. Hit three of them and put them on fire as well. And I believe we need one more round before we can unlock our a heal or a shield ability from our healer over here. So heal attack for now. We actually might lose one of our archers in this battle here. Which would not be very fun if possible. So let's go ahead, blizzard this. Damage everyone across there. And we need one more uh, round before we can taunt, I believe. Yeah, we need one more round before we can taunt. So let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, we gotta attack him. He taunted us, so we can't do anything right now. And I believe our archer's gonna die right now. We are outnumbered badly, and he is dead. He is dead, dead, dead. So now, I'm gonna grant a buff to all my additional allies that are remaining here. Increase their armor. We're actually gonna clone the enemy unit right here with that special ability, which basically gives us a, a slightly weaker version of an enemy hero, which basically just helps even the odds right now. So we still can't target whoever we want to, because we are being taunted. But we will taunt as well and direct all damage to our tank hero right now, which uh, basically helps keep our weaker kind of damage dealers alive. Unfortunately, it wasn't ready in time to keep our archer alive, but that's okay. So we'll grant a shield, I believe, to the healer again, just because he is the most important guy to keep alive. And then we'll finish off their tank unit right here with this uh, high damage bat unit. Wow, that's a chunk of damage right there. Splash damage here. And I believe... Yes, there we go. The clone getting some damage done. Nice. All right. So we can actually start regenerating some health here with our tank unit. It should help out. And I believe we're getting pretty close to victory here. I'm very sad that we did lose one of our heroes uh, in the process. Because uh, now we'll only get two stars for finishing off this battle. But I'll have to come back later on and finish it off. Maybe we'll do some upgrades after this and see what we can do. All right. We got three more enemies remaining here. What does this do? 
Nice splash damage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we got two more enemies remaining, which should be pretty easy to finish up because these guys are the weaker ones. Their big kind of tank unit is already destroyed, so we can basically pretty easily finish this battle off here. Get our two-star victory. Maybe go do a few upgrades to get stronger as well. And uh, that way, we hopefully, we can get three stars in the next battle here. But there we go. We got some loot unlocked for completing that campaign mission. Two-star victory. Very, very happy with that. We'll go ahead here now and jump into our kind of hero screen. Actually, you know what? First things first. We got some achievements to claim. Get some free stuff here. Boom, boom. More free stuff. Lots of free stuff right here. There we go. And then our bank, I believe we have some uh, free special offer over here. Nice. Look at that stuff. Absolutely for free. Thank you, thank you. Got some chests to unlock. Get that done. We'll do some upgrades for our heroes. Get a bit stronger as well. Then I'll explain to you guys how you can join my guild if you're interested in playing with me. Nice. There we go. Free chest. I appreciate that. So, um, let's see, let's see. The Garrett, who is our archer, he was the first one to go down in that battle. So, let's go ahead and level him up. There we go. And we can actually upgrade his multi-shot ability as well. So, we'll get that little boost and then we'll add some armor to him. Which will gear him up to gear level 4, which increases his power overall. So, as you can see, guys, you can actually equip armor onto your specific heroes. Gear them up, make them stronger, unlock additional abilities. And I actually have more things that I haven't even experimented with yet. Like ruins, as you can see on the bottom right hand side of the screen as well. Ruins just basically make your heroes even stronger. I haven't even dived into that at all. There's so much strategy in this game. And I want to upgrade, actually, uh, Freezer as well. He is one of my main damage dealers. Um, where is his upgrade? Oh, he's got ruins. I don't want to do the ruins yet. I haven't experimented with that. We can upgrade our tank. Thank you. Add some armor. Thank you. Add some armor to him as well. Boom, we can actually upgrade this ability. Yo, did my tank have ability to be upgraded? He did. Thank you, sir. Upgrade that. All right, all right. Basically upgrading my main, uh, my main party right now. Some more armor right there. Upgrade the bat, do some more damage. Thank you, thank you. And that is my main, that's my main army that we just upgraded. My main five uh, heroes. But it's very important in this game to kind of upgrade a wider variety of heroes. We can just unlock a new one right now. Roxy, a healer. Thank you. But it's very, very important because there's specific challenges in this game where you can only, learn, you only use certain heroes. Like, for example, this hero right here is part of the Orc clan. Sometimes there's a specific challenge where you can only use Orc heroes, or you can only use tank heroes, or you can only use he uh, healer heroes. So it's, it's very important to kind of... Um, Obviously, you want to focus primarily on your main party, but don't just use all your resources. You want to be able to have, you know, a couple of backup heroes as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you guys my guild over here. So you can see there's a bunch of different game modes. We have campaign, which we previously did. There's tournaments, there's events, there's challenges. There's even a guild raid. We can basically attack a, a massive boss with your entire guild, which I haven't unlocked yet because my guild, nobody's in my guild, nobody's joined me yet so far. And I really want to experiment with this feature. So if you guys and girls are interested, go ahead, join my guild. There is a ton of space available. As you can see, we currently have four out of 25 members. So if you are interested, guys, go ahead, download. Uh, you do have to level up a little bit before you unlock the guild feature, which is where the promo code Shane Gift comes into play. Helps give you that early game uh, jumpstart to kind of give you a boost to level up faster so you can go ahead and join my guild. And then that way, hopefully, we can do a guild raid together. And you can see over here, guys, we haven't even unlocked the arena or the tower yet, which we can do as we level up and progress. Let's go ahead and enter a tournament right now to see if our newly upgraded uh, heroes can come into play. I want to use um, him as my leader. Basically go with my main team right here. Oh, wait. Do I? I can't use a tank, can I? Where's my tank? Here he is. And we'll throw him in right there. All right, cool. So, I can register. Oh, I see top right corner. I need one elf. I need one elf. So I want to replace, I do want a tank. I do want a tank. So I'm going to go ahead, throw the tank back in there, and I'll get rid of the uh, archer. And I'll throw in this wizard right here. And that way we have a human, an elf, and a panda. So we can register for this uh, tournament right now. And we'll jump into one of these battles against an opponent and see how we can do. Now I'm going to attack this guy right here, Damori. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes into this uh, little tournament right now. See what we can do over here. I mean, the graphics are stunning. I, I, I can't, my, my cord's too short, so I can't show you guys. But it just, like, it, it looks amazing. All right, so let's see what we can do against the enemy team here. We're going to, first things first, put a shield on my uh, my primary healer. Although he's basically a, like a shielder, I guess to say. Um, we'll start damaging our units here. Nice, there we go. Stay alive. 
Basically, we need to survive until the tank can taunt. Because otherwise, our damage dealers are basically vulnerable to being taken out. But we already destroyed one of their heroes, which is pretty nice to see. And I think we should be... Oh, so he just taunted. So basically, whenever they taunt, it means you can only attack that unit. Basically, diverts all attention to that unit. Protects the, uh, the weaker units as well. But we should be okay here. The bat does a ton of damage. There we go. That's like a quarter of his health. You can still splash damage as well, which is pretty nice. And I believe that hero is Darien is the name. Their tank. But we should be okay. And one damage dealer is getting a little weak here. But we need a few more rounds before we can shield her again. Nice. There we go. There we go. I don't think she'll survive. I don't think she'll make it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Lizard right here. Thank you. Oh, we can taunt. Nice. All right. She should be good. So we just taunted. Now they have to attack the tank. There we go. He's, oh, he just healed. And we'll shield, the, shield her up as well. All right. Cool. So now she has a shield. So I mean, she isn't as a weak as she was before. I'm actually going to clone Illyria right here because she is like a damage dealer and a healer. So we could you definitely use the additional heals right now. Just start getting some of our guys up to par here. There we go. There we go. Two more enemies to destroy. Give us a little buff right here. Thank you. What is this ability you use? I haven't used this one yet. Oh, it's a damage boost. Nice. That should be very effective. Nice little damage buff right there. All right, cool. Yo, you see how much damage that bat did? One hit. He's dead. And I believe this one, uh, yeah, heals all allies by 166%. So, we'll actually heal everyone up right now. There we go. Nice little heal. And then we'll use regeneration for my tank. Start getting some additional health. Then we'll finish off this, uh, this last unit right here. Nice, 1,700 damage, one hit. There we go, victory in the tournament. Rewards, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, all right, all right. So we did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we have, uh, we can do four more tournament battles if you wanted to. You can see right here, top right corner, we have tournament tickets, which we use for the tournament battles. They replenish every couple of hours. And then you can actually get uh, like rewards. So basically stage one, stage two, stage three, you get additional rewards every time you finish a stage. Then if you finish the tournament at a specific rank, you get an additional reward as well. As you see, we're currently in the rank 3 to 10. So we can get the tier 2 reward right there, which is pretty nice to see. And that's the tournament battle. We have also events we can do as well. We have challenges we can do as well. We have the guild raid, which I'm really, really hoping a few of you guys can join my guild. So we can actually do the guild raid together. So if you're interested, guys, you can uh, let me know. Go ahead and give it a download. And then the arena, I think we'll be able to unlock for the next video in the series here. And then let's go to the shop here quickly and buy some few things. There we go. And I want to upgrade. We got a new achievement unlocked right here. Get some free stuff. Thank you. Some more energy, which is always nice. We got more stuff here. Wow. Okay. We might even we might be able to upgrade right now and do the arena. See what that's all about. We're almost level twenty-five right here. Let's do one more upgrade here. Uh, can we do any more upgrades before level twenty-five? We can upgrade. She's already upgraded. We can upgrade her um her that. Okay. Gear her up as well, thank you. Upgrade her ability, thank you. And I want to... Okay, we didn't get experience from that. Alright, let's do a quick... When you've already completed one campaign, you can actually go back and uh, instant loot it. So when you three-star campaign, you can actually go back and basically do it um, without having to take the time to do it. So there we go. Level 25, nice. Cool. So basically, being level 25 now... Ooh, what is this guy? Oh, we got the arena unlocked. Okay, okay, okay. So let's battle, uh, Ethan. Who would I want to battle? Joshua Snow, for sure. Joshua, you don't even know what you're into. Let's throw in the healer and the leader ability right here. Because, so the tank also has a leader ability. As you can see the tank in the middle here. It says both the potency and tenacity of the allied orcs increased by 10%. But I don't have any more orcs in my team. So it basically would be wasted. So let's throw in him instead and jump into this arena battle to finish off this video and see how we can do. All right, Joshua Snow, winter is coming. What you got for us, sir? So the archers back at my team will uh, put a shield up on my, my leader right now. And we should clear through this guy pretty easily. I was looking at his power numbers and he's, he's a little bit uh, weaker than I am, so. But of course, we just, we just unlocked the uh, arena, so. Probably have to rank up a bit first. Oh, multi-shot. There we go, multi-shot. So, the cool thing with the archer that I really love is every turn, he has a different, like, I think, element to his arrows. Like, burning or poison or whatever. 
And when you do the multi-shot, it adds that element to every arrow. So you can see my enemies are on fire right now, uh, taking additional burning damage, which is really nice to see. That right here, deal some damage, please. Oh, nice. Splash damage here, and I believe we're one more round before we can taunt our enemy. And yeah, this could be a pretty easy victory with those uh, with those upgrades we did. Let's do this, but this blinds all of them. Boom, there we go. Nice, thank you. Destroy that bear. Destroy that orc. Blizzard here, please. One more, one more to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. Arrow here. Thank you. All right. So we won our very, very first victory. Our, our arena battle, sorry. And there we go. Nice. Your rank just went up. Nice, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, guys. So that is Dragon Champions. That's a brief introduction to Dragon Champions. Obviously, there's a lot more that I can't really fit into one video. So I will be doing a few more additional videos as well in the future, guys. So if you are interested in kind of coming along for me with this journey, uh, then go ahead, guys. Give it a download link down below in the description. Once again, use promo code SHANEGIFT if you want to help support me and also get some free stuff uh, in return uh, as a uh, help kind of jumpstart your progress uh, in the game. And please, please, please join my guild. We only have four members right now and we need more to go into the guild raid feature. So guys, if you're at all curious with this game, Dragon Champions, there's zero risk. Give it a try for free. Use the code. Like I said before, at the very least, just kind of spend those currency that you get for that code and see if you like it, you know? Zero risk involved. Just give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think, guys, down below in those comments of this game. And yeah, guys, that'll be the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. But that, guys, that is the end, guys. Thank you for watching. We shall see you in the next one.